most important part in an education might be the first few years you're exposed to the learning process. So maybe the best teachers we should encourage to become the first, second, third grade teachers, because if those are bad examples, you might have your foot in the bucket the rest of your career in education. Is that true? I, I mean, to me, I've, I've, I just kindergarten teachers, preschool teachers, first grade, second grade. I know that in everyday uh, discussion, people are kind of more impressed with someone that they're a high school history teacher and they're teaching honors history and they're teaching AP chemistry. Well, you know, chances are those the kids they're teaching are probably pretty intact, doing extremely well. And that it doesn't even take that much to teach them. These are kids who are going to read and do and excel and they have high mo uh, motivation. That first year or two where you've got the heterogeneous class, where the kids are all different ability levels, perhaps in the early, early grades, they don't even have a good sense about who's advanced, who's not. Those are the critical years. If you can give that kid a positive experience, it's going to go on for years after that. The third grade teacher, she got everybody interested. She would have little contests, could excel. It was rewarding. She got everybody interested. There was no. She was very careful what she chose, so she get that foundation years. If I didn't have her, who knows what I've ended up. But she got me to like school. In the first two years, I started to like school. It was boring, negative. Someone showed up to get a paycheck and not really enjoying what they're doing. Third grade teacher was was a gift of God. Um, I could give you the opposite side of that story when you said, which only proves your point. My f kindergarten teacher and first grade teacher were angels. I just loved them. They were just kind and wonderful and sweet. Second grade teacher couldn't get out. Apparently had been teaching for years at the school again through my older sister was well aware of her reputation. Horrible teacher. Yell, scream on a constant basis. My mother tells me, and I kind of remember this, that I couldn't eat breakfast. My, I had such a nervous stomach for second grade going into that classroom. But, you know, I never thought of it until you just said it. But it didn't really affect my view of teaching because I'd had such a great experience with kindergarten and first grade that even though I had this teacher, I didn't find myself a, a permanently affected by it. I think I was insulated because I knew that she was the exception.